hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be doing this create and manage cloud spanner instances so this is a challenge lab and you get one hour 30 minutes to complete this lab in this lab we'll be creating a cloud spanner instance then we'll create a cloud spanner database post that we will create tables in the database then we'll load simple data sets into those tables later we will load a complex data set finally we will be adding a new column to an existing table so let's start the lab you can click on start lab task 1 create a cloud spanner instance so in task 1 we need to create a cloud spanner instance and the name you have to use this name in region us east 1 and the nodes should be 1 so these are the values which they have mentioned so let's first create a cloud spanner instance you can go back here and search for cloud spanner so this is how the dashboard of spanner looks like you can click on create a provision instance so we'll be creating a standard instance here click on continue instance name so you can copy this go back next you can click on continue this is a regional here you can click on select a configuration just search for us east one so ensure you select the region which you get in your lab you can click on continue EO and the under nodes configure compute capacity here under select unit we need to select the nodes here manual allocation quantity one nodes post that you can click on create so this will create a spanner instance so if you want to create a spanner instance from CLI you can refer to this link so this uh, this is a one github you can execute this command gcloud spanner instance create instance name and the configuration you need to specify I am exporting the region here so whatever region you get you ensure you set this environment variables export region and the bucket name in upcoming task I will be creating a bucket so that's why I will be exporting the bucket name here so bucket name have uh, mentioned it as a project ID only suppose that you can execute this command to create cloud spanner instance from CLI so from console also you can create it this is how you can create it so once that is done you can click on check my progress this should be complete now so now it's complete let's proceed with task to create a cloud spanner database so once the instance is created we need to create a database with this name so let's copy this name so this is the instance uh, uh, dashboard here so if you scroll down here you can uh, see this database option you need to click on create database here you can provide that name so whatever database name you get in your lab ensure you pass that name so select the database dial list as google standard sql once done you can uh, scroll down and click on create this will create the database so you should get this message database created you can close this message so now you can see if we go back so let's go back to the dashboard here this is the instance banking ops instance inside instance we have created database so this is the one banking ops db so this is how it should look like if you want to create this database from CLI you can execute this command gcloud spanner databases create database name and the instance in which it has to create so that instance name you need to provide now you can click on check my progress this should be complete now this is complete let's proceed with task 3 create tables in your database your database must have a total of 4 tables portfolio category product and customer the tables must be defined as listed below this is an example ddl command which you can refer to so now next let's create these four tables now this is the instance dashboard here you can find the database click on this database now we are inside the database here we need to write a ddl commands click on write ddl click on new sql editor tab here so this is the ddl statement which we need to execute so we'll be creating four tables by the name portfolio category product and the customer so this is the format which needs to be followed i will be posting this github link in the video description so you can refer to that let me copy this can go back here 
so you can click on format here so you should get this valid once this is valid you can click on run update is complete now so now you can see there are four tables category customer portfolio product so now we have created this all these tables here so with these columns so whatever they have mentioned we have created that way so this is how you can verify it as well so now you can go back here next we need to load simple data sets into the tables so I'll be closing this editor now so under tables so if we click on this drop down we have this category customer portfolio product these are empty tables which we have created so we can click on so here you can click on preview data so nothing is there inside this table so let's load some data into this table now task for load simple data sets into tables three of your tables portfolio category and product will be loaded with simple low volume data sets you may employ any method to load this table so using dml command as well we can load the table so we need to load the table portfolio with this data this is for portfolio since we need to load data into the portfolio table we need to use this insert operation insert into portfolio table with this column names and the values so I'll be copying this once you copy this click on format and you should get this value check mark once that is done you can click on run so three rows inserted by your query so after this you can click on this view actions click on preview data you can click on run once you run that you will get this so these are the values they have specified and we have loaded that and if we select this category so let me minimize this if I select this category and click on preview data and click on run see there are no results we have not loaded any data into the category table that's why it is not displaying anything so let's run for customer as well you can click on preview data click on run see no results only for portfolio it is displaying because uh, we have loaded the data into this table so this way you have to load the data next let's load the category table with these values so for that as well I will take you to this so for category table you need to copy this snippet so you can click on clear it will clear this you can paste it here click on format now it is valid you can run four rows inserted by your query now since we have inserted for a category let's um, let's preview the data you can click on preview data here and click on run these are the values which we have inserted similarly for product we need to load the table with these values so for that I have updated so this is the snippet which you can copy insert into the pro uh, product is a table name and the column uh, names we are specifying here product ID category ID followed by the values what values needs to be inserted into the specific columns so you can copy this all and come back here clear this click on format then you can click on run nine rows inserted so you can click on product here preview data click on run so here we are running this query from product table list all the table values so we have inserted nine values here so it is displaying that so this way you can verify if your data has been loaded into the table or not so now let's go back we have completed all the task in this uh, we have loaded the simple data sets into the table so you can click on check my progress this should be complete now now let's proceed with task by load a complex data set you will load the customer table with a much larger set of data so this is the file name which contains 500 rows of data and is located in the following public cloud storage bucket so this is where it is being placed it is having 500 rows of data in this lab I will be using the data flow job 
to complete this task so for that i will be enabling the services then we'll be making use of this manifest.json file so this step uh, you can uh, find it here under github so load a complex data set first we will download the csv file so let's copy this command here let's go back here click on activate cloud shell click on continue so this is the file so we have copied this to our local machine so if you do ls so here you can find this customer list this file let's enable the apis G Cloud services enable data flow google apis and spanner api so both of this api we need to enable it now it's enabled so let's go back since we use a data flow template we need the manifest file so that's why i have created manifest.json file so this will help in loading the customer table as you can see this is a manifest.json file and it is having this table customer table file pattern we are passing it here this way you have to create a manifest.json file you can copy this if we do ls we can find the manifest.json file here once that is done so we have to uh, create a s3 bucket since we need to store our manifest.json in the bucket we need to create a storage bucket so for that i will be uh, passing this command gcloud storage bucket create and the bucket name so bucket name you can specify your project id so for that i will be exporting this so let me copy this set environment variables export region export bucket name so let me copy this here i'm exporting the region us east one and the bucket name will be the project id so here you will get the project id so whatever project id you get in your lab you ensure that you use that one only so once that is done you can copy this so now it will use that variable so that environment variable whatever we have passed the location it will use that region and the bucket name will be that so now it is complete uh, we have created the bucket once the bucket is created next we need to run the data flow job so this is the command syntax which needs to be used so here we are uh, passing gcloud data flow jobs run the data flow job name and the gcs location so the template uh, since we are using the data flow template we need to pass this and the region uh, in which region we are like using in your lab you might get the region where you have created your resources you have, we have to ensure that you specify that region here in the parameters instance id we are passing so that's the spanner instance name and the um, database id the one which we have created it and the import manifest file so we are passing the manifest file location so in, uh, inside um, this is the bucket name inside bucket we are placing this manifest.json file so this way you need to pass so let's copy this command next we need to add a new column to an existing table so using this command we'll be adding a new column gcloud spanner database ddl update so this is the db which we are updating it and the instance name we are passing so we are altering the table category inside the category table we are adding one more column by this name so let's copy this before executing this let me go back here and show you that let me select this category click on preview data here click on run so here you can see category id portfolio id category name portfolio info these are the columns available now now we are inserting one more column into this table i'll be copying this so schema updating and it is done now so we can execute this again you can click on run again so now you can see this new column got added you can also verify the data using this command gcloud spanner database ddl describe this is the database name and the instance so we have this spanner instance inside the spanner instance we have this db inside the db we have this table so if you want to verify the data inside the table you need to execute this command so we can copy this command go back here here you can search for this category this is the table and this table is having all this column here you can find marketing budget with this 
So from CLI, this is how you verify it. So you can click on check my progress. This should be complete now. We have completed both the tasks, task by and task is. So this as well, you can click on check my progress. We have added a new column to that existing table. So this is also complete. So we have successfully completed all the tasks in this lab. So if you click on this checkpoints, you shall get this 100 out of 100. So if you want to refer to the DDL snippet and whatever I have used in the lab, you can refer to this GitHub link. I will be pasting this GitHub link under video description. You can refer to that and you can also follow along. Once you are done with the lab, you can click on end lab. Once you complete this lab, you will be getting this skill batch create and manage cloud spanner database. So ensure that you complete each of these tasks. If you face any issues doing this lab, you can post your comment under comment section. I will be happy to help. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.